the new systematic theology that Paul Smalley and I have written fits in the whole scheme of reform systematic theologies in a unique way for this reason. Our target audience is a bit wider than most systematic theologies. We aim for the entry seminary level in terms of the content, but in terms of the language, we try to keep the language fairly simple so that the average person in the pew who's interested in theology would have no trouble following everything we're saying. So even when we deal with difficult problems, say like open theism or the impassibility of God, we still try to keep the language at a level where educated lay people would want to read it and not get bored reading it or not be able to comprehend it. So the target audience, I think, is wider because we have the educated layperson, the typical rural pastor in Nebraska, for example, hopefully will we'll buy this and, and find it as a, as a basic tool that he can really use to help him preach doctrine from the pulpit. And then it is also meant to be used, of course, as a seminary lecture, lecture material, reading material. Uh, it, therefore, it's a bit longer than most systematic theologies as well because each systematic theology section, each loci, represents a whole class in, in a seminary. And thus a teacher could, for example, give out the section on soteriology for his entire class of the Doctrine of Salvation. Wouldn't need to turn to other books because we address all the subjects and that'd be about enough reading for that class. So it's designed for seminary level, but it also reaches out to uh, pastors and lay people and, and so on. And we're hoping that by having a systematic theology that is filled with biblical proof texts in every little area of doctrine, lots of proof texts, and then at the same time gives clear, succinct doctrinal statements, that's the goal, and also applies it to the heart and to the mind and to the life, that will make it a unique systematic theology. So our goal is to do, for example, someone at a lower level than Herman Bavinck's systematic theology, but it's also not like, say, Louis Burkhoff's systematic theology, because it'd be longer than that, but it would also take into contemporary issues, but also have a lot more application to the reader's personal life.